or opportunities to square yourself away. If that book didn't work, if it made you a worse individual, then that's how we know the religion is false. If you ask a Muslim, why do they believe Islam is superior to Judaism? They'll say, because we know, I guess by faith, but they make no distinction when they're talking to people. We know for a fact that Muhammad wrote this book, right? Thus it's verifiable historically, which it's not, but I mean, let them say it. We can confidently say that's not what makes our book special. What makes our book special is that it's so socially, ethically relevant that it gave birth to your religion and it gave birth to Christianity as well. It's been an ethical net gain on this planet. That's what Judaism stands on, with the idea that, that, that we would have a Torah scroll signed by Moses. Don't forget, Torah scrolls are written on animal parchment, what we call cloth, and the shelf life of animal parchment does not exceed 3,000 years, and the Torah was given over 3,500 years ago. This notion, only because we know who wrote the book, that makes it true? Nonsense. This book could have fell down from heaven. And I think any reasonable person was aware how other people behaved at that time, and they saw a book of consistent ethics. I don't walk around saying the Torah is perfect, especially the people who don't believe in the Torah. I just tell them to look around and be grateful to the society that they happen to live in, a society that's entrenched in biblical values, and they're going to ignore it and think that if you put enough monkeys in a room, right, with typewriters, they're going to come up with the same work. That's called ingratitude. So being religious in this day and age just means that you're able to articulate where your values come from. And our values come from the Bible. It's made this world a better place. That's it. That's the argument I make with atheists, because I can't prove that God exists. They can't prove he doesn't exist. I have evidence. They have evidence. However, what I could prove and what I could discuss is the effect the Bible has in people's lives. Religious people donate more time. They donate more money. They're kinder. They live richer, fuller lives. Compare that to atheists. Compare that to radical Muslims. I mean, honestly, this is what makes Judaism number one, essentially. I'm not saying it's the only great belief system. I believe Christianity is ethical and I believe Islam is ethical. I just think Judaism is more consistently ethical, i.e. is better. That's it. But instead of being an atheist, become an ethical Muslim or a Christian. So, so you personally believe that God uh, and Moses essentially wrote the five books, right? Tradition teaches that. It doesn't make or break our religion. Don't forget, the revelation came through Moses. Whether Moses had a scribe who wrote it down, it doesn't hurt my belief system at all. Jewish tradition teaches that Moses wrote the most of it, right? I mean, because there's some verses at the end that clearly are written by possibly Joshua, but who cares? Judaism has traditions that can't really truly be substantiated with the Torah itself. So it's important, but that's a bigger question that people don't ask themselves because nowhere in the Torah does it say that there's five books. Colloquially, we call the Torah the five books. It talks about the book of the law, a, a book that's read every seven years. And it seems that what, what they were reading was a book that only had laws, not all the narrative we have today. So we have to make a distinction between the narrative and what we believe was actually given on Mount Sinai, which is just straight prescriptive ideas.